You probably know the name John Wickersham. He writes articles in the Caravan Club magazine and other magazines too. He writes manuals for Haynes about caravans, motorhomes and camping. And he also, of course, presents our sister programme, the Caravan Channel. Now then, you may not know this, and don't tell those caravanners, but John is also a keen motorhomer. In fact, he's so keen, he's built his own motorhome. I'm delighted to say I've got John Wickersham with me. Hello, John. Hello, Andy. The first question I have to ask you is, why? Why? Well, look, I've owned caravans repeatedly since 1969, but when I wanted a motorhome, the first one, and it wasn't this one, I had to build it myself because I couldn't afford one new. Then I learned to bid and I thought, now I want one a bit better and I'm prepared to spend the money and buy a brand new Fiat chassis and then after that it's going to be built to my needs. John, tell us a little bit about the motorhome. What's it called for a start? Well, people look at it and say, that, what on earth is it? I don't recognise it. And because they were always saying that, I said, well, I've called it Mystique because people find <laughs> it a bit of a mystery. But the thing is, I wanted something which uh, satisfies my love of the outdoors. The fact I go skiing, the fact I go climbing, I like canoes. So this one meets my peculiar needs. Tell us about some of the features that you've built into the motorhome. Well, right from the start with the bare chassis, I wanted to have a tow bracket on there. I also wanted to have plenty of ability to carry weight. So I had a new suspension fitted that is air suspension, not the original springs, and it's got a computer. So it registers what weight is in there and it blows the back up accordingly to support that weight within its limits. No other big motorhome like that in this country, as far as I know, has that facility. It's the only one I think that's got a hatchback that opens so you can get things in, not just for your hobby, but I actually got rid of a freezer once that the council were charging 20 pounds to take away. I said, don't <laughs> oh, worry, you're lads. So tight. Yeah. <laughs> I'll do it. And my wife and I put it in and we took now, it away. What about the body? Obviously the base vehicle is a Fiat, but what about the body itself? It's obviously made of fiberglass, but where did it come from? Did you just build it? It from was scratch a prototype. They did sell a few and then it went all went bust. And the remnants, and this was one of the shells, was available. The back bit was £400. I had to pick it up on a car trailer. And then they found the front bit. And the front bit was so heavy, I had to lower it from under these trees that we're standing under now because the wing mirrors got in the way. So it was dropped down and the two had to be married together. And then I got a shell to sleep in at least. Talking of sleeping, how many berths is it? Well, it was going to be two in a double bed that hinges up in the ceiling. And then, of course, grandchildren arrived, so we put in a, a fold-out bed. Did you design it before you started building it, or did you get it and start building it and uh, design no, it as you no, went along? Nothing on computers, no CAD CAM. Frankly, I got ideas where I wanted this and that and so forth. And I slept in it on the floor right from the beginning, <laughs> thinking, ah, now, if the sink is there, of course, I'll need the dishcloth there. And if the, yes, well, if the drinks cabinet's there, I need the toilet over there somewhere. And so it went on, and a lot of it unfolded and it evolved through actually some of living the, in it. Some of the big manufacturers could actually learn from this. So John, th John? Oh hello Andy. Uh, right so this is the hatchback. This is the hatchback. Open it up. Mind yourself Open as it up. goes up. That's it. There we go. John, you've got a kayak in your motorhome. So I have Andy. I said I liked outdoor sports <laughs> but I this can get is... more than this in there. I can get a car in there. I built this to take a car no in the lounge. Explain. This folds up and then the car goes up ramps, and tickety-boo, here it is. This car? <laughs> yes, this car. What do you do if you've got more than two of you? Ah, you notice, only two seats. Yes. Well, that's when I go across to this one, which has got four seats. It's got a special attachment on the front. That's where the A-frame yep. goes on. Yep. And remember I said earlier that you really do need a tow bar for the sort of silly games I play, and there it is, so that would hitch on. And this one can hitch on if I don't want to put it in the lounge. Right, tell me more about the inside. I can see up there you've got a bed. That's the double bed. It's all made up normally and it just hinges down. It's not very complicated. It's a simple thing to build. It is very spacious in here, isn't it? You've got the kitchen up there, a big dining area. Yeah, but area. hang on. It, it looks spacious because I've used lightweight plies and often in the ones that are manufactured, they have dark wood and it looks more like a black yeah. forest cuckoo clock inside. Yeah, I, and I know the one you're thinking of. And how far have you actually been in this motorhome? You've done any 
big expeditions? Well, I usually go to the continent. I've been to Germany to the exhibitions there. I go to France to do adventure sports, to go to the Alps, to, uh, to go to the sea, to go to Biarritz with this canoe yeah. to surf. Do people recognise that, uh, that it's not an off-the-production line job, that they come and talk to you about it? Some people, I haven't an idea, it's just a, another just motor another home, motor you know, home. but uh, some people find it mysterious and they want to know a bit more. And I've had one person say, well, when are you producing it? And I said, I'm not, it's for me. <laughs> and he was dismayed. He said, oh, no, this is the kind of thing I've right. always been looking for. Well, I'm one of those people who wants to find out more about it. We just don't have time today, perhaps, in the new series of the Motorhome Channel. I could come back and I could actually have a really good look around and maybe a drive. Yes, why not? Fantastic. Maybe a canoe or maybe you could a take canoe. a freezer down to the, uh, the, the council <laughs> tip. No, you're welcome, Andy. I'll bring my own. And technically, I'll tell you now that there are things in here that you will have never have seen in any production motorhome either.